All protocols duly observed. I I hereby constitute this gathering as an assembly for the purpose of the investiture of Professor Oluatoyin T. Ogundikwe, Fellow of the Academic of Science and the 12th Vice-Chancellor of the University of Lagos. The vice the pro chancellor usually gives me orders during council. Today I'm going to give him orders. <laughs> Sir, please remain standing because I want to invite you to please address this august body. Once again, I join the great university to welcome you all to this major event. We are here today to have the formal investiture of the 12th Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, who happens to be an outstanding scholar, a great community leader, and a phenomenal administrator. His CV is so accurate. The only thing missing is that he did not have the privilege of attending the University of Lagos. <laughs> but we always invite them here to tune them up, <laughs> to brand them, and to prepare them for higher office. He is coming at a time when education in Nigeria is at the crossroads. He is coming at a time when we have to think out of the box to create a university system that is comparable to other university systems in the world. He is coming at a stage when Nigerian university system is being classified as beneath the top 800 in the world. It's coming to confront a great history of universities. I'd like to let you know that at one point in time, University College Hospital Ibado, UCH, was rated the fourth hospital in the whole of the Commonwealth. Commonwealth includes Britain, New Zealand, Australia, Malaysia, India, Indonesia, Ghana, and all these great countries. And at this period, UCH was the fourth in the whole of the Commonwealth. So it's coming at a stage where we have a challenge of restoring our legacy. We have a determination of repositioning ourselves. We have a determination to bring ourselves back to our pride of place. And we cannot afford to tell Nigerians that we did not succeed. There has been serious clamor for education being free at all levels. My position is that if there is a choice between free education at all levels and good education at all levels, I have chosen the latter. And I believe the audience will support me in choosing the latter. <laughs> Today, according to the NUC, Nigerian Universities Commission, it requires 1.2 million on the average to thoroughly teach 
a properly accredited course in the university. With a population of about 40,000 in the University of Lagos, we require 48 billion naira per annum. We are able to attract about 10 or 11 from the federal government. There is a shortfall of 37. I leave it to you, egg eggs here, yeah, to tell us how we can fill this gap. You can send your memorandum or memoranda to us. By, by accident, I chaired the negotiating committee between the federal government and academic staff union. We're all seeking to find an endurable solution that is sustainable, ring-fenced, and that cannot be penetrated by the vicissitudes of political life. I must at this stage warn that the state universities are a threat to the university system because most of the states cannot afford the universities. I don't know any state that can afford more than one university. Lagos State can afford a university, and I'm happy the governor is here who has had an outstanding training from no other university than the University of Lagos. I welcome you to your alma mater. In the few seconds we've spent before the um, procession commenced, I discussed a few things with him, which showed me that um, he was a very active participant in this university. We call on you to use your good offices to support the Lagos State University in a manner that it can become a university that will have its own pride of place in the world. We also add that we ask you on many platforms to come and give back to the University of Lagos. The first platform is that you were trained here. The second platform is that, as I have found out, you thoroughly enjoyed being here. <laughs> the third platform is that you are here and I want to assure you that if you invest in this community, the number of air gates that are here will assist in quadrupling the economy of Lagos. I have not come to ambush you. We are grateful to what you've done so far. You have endowed a few chairs. But I want to today mention that, one, we require efforts to sand fill parts of our land as we are landlocked and we can't really expand unless we have a little bit of sand filling, which has been approved by your government, but we are limited in resources. We also call on you to pick one of our projects an association with your friends implement it for us. We're not asking you to bring state funds, but we know that you have friends in the right places. I'm happy to see my sister, Senator Remitinumbu, here. I'm sure she will gladly join you in this effort. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to install the 12th Vice Chancellor of University of Lagos, the University of Great Pride, a university of outstanding distinction, the leading university in Nigeria without question. And I want to assure you that we are determined to turn every stumbling block to a stepping stone for attainment of greater heights. Thank you for listening today.